So, if you're of my generation, growing up, gaming and computers were a very big part of your childhood. And luckily for anyone living in the Western world or anyone who was part of a Commonwealth country, we usually had access to things like Commodore 64s, Amiga 500s, maybe an XT if you're lucky, or you may have even had a rich uncle who had a 286 or something like that that you could get your hands on and, and play games. But here in communist China, that wasn't the case. In fact, the Chinese government and society as a whole here really looked down on video games in particular and saw them as some kind of a foreign evil influence on the children corrupting their minds. But, you know, kids are kids everywhere in the world. So what did Chinese children and teenagers do in order to get their hands on Super Mario or any of those early sort of Nintendo games? Well, I'm about to meet with a special friend of mine here in Huajian Bay, the electronics district of the world. And she's managed to track down the very iconic, very special computer slash learning machine slash gaming console that Chinese children used to get past the console ban. So, did you get it? Yes, I got it. It was kind awesome. of difficult, but I pulled some strings and got it for you. Excellent. I'm sure Neil's going to love it. When I was a kid, I played Mario on this with my friends. It was a long time ago, but it was good memories. I hope Neil loves it. I'm sure he will. Thank you so much, Naomi. You're welcome. By the way, guys, if you don't know who Naomi is, check out her channel. She's known as Sexy Cyborg Online and uh, awesome stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I know a good place for shipping in Kwa Chiang Bay. Uh, let me show you. Let's go. How do you walk in those? It takes some skills. <laughs> it takes some skills to walk on a bumpy road like this. So we have to go straight. And So there are uh, on both sides there are a couple of uh, shipping companies, very small shipping companies. But I, I've used them a couple of times. They are they are good. It usually ships in a week. Then uh, people can get it from overseas, and it ships everywhere: America, Europe, even Africa. <laughs> okay, let's go.你好,是我。我想問一下這個寄到英國多少錢這個。這個嗎? So uh, he says about fifty dollars. That is uh, fifty dollars. How many pounds? How many RMB? How many? Uh, three hundred kwai. Yes, three hundred kwai. Yeah, thirty pounds. Oh yeah, thirty pounds. Yeah. So fifty dollars, thirty pounds. Good to go. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So by some form of magic, it's all of a sudden drizzling, and it's a completely different day. The reason is, when I visited here with Naomi, I didn't actually have Neil's address. So we got that far, we were about to ship it and I realized, wait, I don't actually have his address. But I contacted him, got the address, so now we're going to try and ship it again. Okay. 
成龙，朱成龙那个。对对对，是那个成龙。你要封起来。对对对，要封起来。封起来。好好好，好了。Yeah, man, yeah. Mm? Yeah, yeah. Mm? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, okay, so the shipping guy, they, they all recognize me because, uh, first of all, I was here with Naomi the other day, so they recognize that, number one. Number two, they all recognize this machine because they all played on it when they were young. <laughs> this time I'm getting a big thing of bubble wrap, and this is going to cost me 10 RMB. So I was right the first, this means bubble though. Just what pao more, man. Okay. So this is palm wall. Hello? E gong dosa? Shu. Ah So this is five R and B for packaging tape, ten R and B for the big thing of bubble wrap. Oh, this is in here. Now I gotta go figure out how to actually wrap this so that it doesn't get destroyed by the wonderful um, sort of express guys. You know, last time everybody was criticizing my packaging skills and yes, I'm not planning to make this a day job. But at the end of the day, both phones reach their destinations and in very good condition. Uh, no breakages along the way. So, to all of you doubters out there, I'm actually not that bad. Ah, so as you can see, that's really, you know, that's couple okay. Go ahead, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think it's going to be a lot more um, expensive than the, we were first quoted, simply because they couldn't weigh weigh it properly last time. We're going to find out. Tada means a jelly cheese. Just a tada means Okay. Hmm. Hi, oh, Birma. Okay. This is Tara DJ, Tara Minz. Okay. Okay. Winston W. W. I. I. N. N. S. S. T. E. O. Doi, the D. Doi. Okay, so um it ended up costing 50, about 53 pounds in shipping. That's pricey, but it's the price you pay to, you know. It's the price you gotta pay to, you know, help other YouTube channels and to collaborate and all that kind of stuff. I don't mind because at the end of the day, the rest of the world gets to see a really cool, unique piece of tech. Okay, hello? Jilly. So the way payment works here is kind of cool. Uh, I could just scan his QR code and then I just put in the amount. Okay. So you put it in 525. Okay. Wu Bai Ashu Tian Tian Arba. Okay, okay. Okay, payment and recognize and pay. Yes. Seems correct. And I pay now. And I got a scan. There we go. Payment successful. That's how it works. Right, Neil, so it's on the way. Um, don't worry about the shipping costs. It's on me. I want to send this to you. I want to make sure it arrives on time. So you don't need to at all feel obliged. Uh, just give us a shout out. And uh, yeah, most importantly, I hope you enjoy it. And I hope it uh, adds something unique and interesting to your channel. So 
who knows, somewhere down the line maybe we can do some more collaborations. Hit me up if you want to know anything about China or tech in China. Maybe you come across something that comes from China. I can maybe, you know, hunt it down, something like that. So until next time, stay awesome.